Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews and I just wanted to share with you that today is a very sad day for me and the SIG P365 here because it actually broke on me finally. I am super upset about it. I actually just made a video about how I loved this gun and it was one of my new favorite pistols because it is and it was. Now one of my new favorite pistols which I just got recently is the SIG P365. Now this thing is much much smaller as you can see it's a baby compared to that um, and I was never a big fan of small pistols ever um, but I gotta say this thing blew me away it really did um, I don't know what it is about it but I just love shooting this thing I love it to death um, I, it's just perfect size it, per it feels great in the hand um, I shoot really well with it it looks really good um, I love the grip on it the texture SIG just really knows how to make a gun. I love a SIG Sauer. Um, it's just got really great sights on it. It's just really got great everything about it. Um, it's blowback. Um, it's tiny. Got a nice little magazine for it. Um, it's just an awesome pistol. Um, I love this thing to death. But yeah, sadly it broke on me. I got about four or five magazines out of this thing and it broke. Um, yeah, everything was working fine until last night. Um, I took out the magazine, put the CO2 in, filled it up with BBs, put the mag in, cocked it back, took it off safety, fired one shot, and all of a sudden the slide caught. So I was like, what the hell? It should only catch if I'm on empty. So I took the magazine out, made sure nothing was jammed, and lo and behold, I pressed the slide release to let the slide go forward, and it wouldn't go forward. It was stuck. And... Now, altogether, the safety just won't move. The safety is stuck down. Um, it won't go up anymore. I have no idea why. Not only that, it's not on safe, but I cannot cock it easily. I have to re really pull it. And as you can see, it catches. But watch when I press the slide release. It doesn't even go forward all the way. I have to push it the rest of the way. Um, I have no idea what happened. It's super tough to get out. Um, the other thing is, if you see, I'll show you here. Actual magazine instead of a stick mag. So if you just press that in, the magazine drops out. Um, the magazine actually fell out very easily when you pressed the mag release originally. Now it doesn't even fall out. Look at this. It just comes out slightly. I have no idea what's happening to this thing. Um, I paid 79 bucks for it. Um, I haven't even had it that long. So, I don't know. I'm willing to buy it again. I don't know if it was a user error. I don't know if I was too rough on it. I don't think so, but I am willing to buy it again just because I really like this gun. It was such a solid and fun gun to shoot. I loved it. Um, I should have read the comments though on Amazon because on Amazon a lot of people were saying the same thing that all of a sudden the slide would jam and it wouldn't shoot anymore but it's more than that for me. Now the slide won't go forward correctly. I have to really pull it to rack it. Um, the safety won't move. Uh, when I take it apart so you could dismount the slide here, um, you can see let me just get that out. I don't see anything wrong here. I really don't. I don't see anything stuck. I just don't see the issue at all. Um, I know this is not the best view for you guys to see. Uh, if anyone out there may be able to point out an issue. This is the magazine here. I mean, the, uh, let me focus a little better. The uh, safety. 
I have no idea what's wrong. Everything looks fine. But then again, I'm no expert or technician, so I wouldn't know if something wasn't. Um, I have no idea what's wrong. Uh, you know, everything here is fine. I could put it back together uh, just fine. Let me just focus again. Sorry, guys. Um, I don't know what the issue is. I really, really don't. Um, everything just looks fine. It seems fine. I just have the feeling it's an issue with the safety. I really do. Um, I have no idea. Now, last night, the other thing was this black piece right here. I'm not going to take it off again because it's finally on and staying on. But it came off entirely. I don't know if it's supposed to or what, but it came off. It's back on now. Um, but yeah, you can disassemble the thing easily. Uh, but, you know, for 79 bucks and... For a SIG gun, I was actually pretty surprised by this, honestly. Um, you know, SIG always makes great quality guns. Um, and I just don't know what the hell happened with this one, man. I really don't. Um, it's such an awesome gun that I'm really willing to buy it again. 79 bucks down the drain. Um, I did order or ask for a refund, so I'm waiting for the label in the mail. But... I wanted to make this video for you guys, so beware if you buy this gun. Um, in my review and my unboxing, or I think I, I don't think I did an unboxing, I can't remember, but in my review anyway, I said definitely pick this up because it's a steal and it's an awesome gun. And I have to say, it is an awesome gun. I love it to death. Um, I just don't know what happened at all. I really don't. I'm very careful with my guns. I am not rough. Um... I just said that maybe I'm rough with this because it's so small, but I don't think I was. You know, I think I I treated it normally. I treated it with care. I oiled it. Um, I don't know what happened, but anyways, I guess the bright side is now when I buy another one, at least I have another magazine, and if need be, I have another slide um, and an extra spring inside and stuff, so... You know, I have some extra parts at least. Um, but if I do get a refund, uh, I'll have to return the whole thing, obviously. Um, unless I just buy the whole thing again and not refund this and just keep it for the parts. I might also do that. Um, see what happens. I don't know. The refund process takes forever. I got to wait for the label in the mail. Then you got to go to the post office, buy a box. Then you got to hopefully wait for, you know, hopefully have the post office not take their time to, you know, actually send the, the box back. Then you got to wait for the company to receive it before they issue a refund. And then you got to wait up to a week for the refund. So I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know if it's worth refunding or if I should just keep it for the parts, the extra mag and stuff. Um, I might end up just doing that. Uh, I really want this gun again. It's just such an awesome gun. But I did want you guys to beware um, when you buy this thing. Just be very careful. I would say cock it very lightly. Don't go crazy with it. It is a lot of polymer. The barrel inside is polymer, but the slide is polymer. I mean, the barrel inside is metal. But the slide is polymer. The frame is polymer. It's got a little weight to it. The trigger's... The trigger is... Seeming... Seems polymer as well. Um... A lot of polymer. Um... But yeah, be careful, guys. Uh... I just don't want you to encounter the same issue as I did. Um... Sig Sauer does make some solid guns. And... I'm not gonna judge them off of this. I am gonna buy this thing again. Because I think it was worth it. It was super fun. Um... I just don't know what happened. Uh... So hopefully it was just a one-off thing. If it does happen again with the new one, I will definitely do an update video and tell you guys to stay away from this thing altogether. Um, it's 79 bucks. It's not that expensive, but 79 bucks isn't a little bit of money for some people um, like me. So anyways, guys, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, just beware of this thing if you get it. It's an awesome gun. It is cheap. It's a steel, it's six sour. I like it a lot. It was fun while it worked. I, I it became one of my favorite pistols. Um I have about forty pistols and 
you know, this tiny little thing literally just blew me away. I loved it. I loved shooting it and everything. So, uh, anyways, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to buy it again. Just beware if you can get it. Be careful with it. The safety. Go light on it. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say lubricate it in any way. I don't really know what, what happened with this thing. Um, hopefully, it doesn't happen again. But, again, I will update you guys if it does. Um... But until then, this is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews, and that's the death of the Sig Sauer P365. Peace, guys.